Module 4, Writing the Literature Review. In the Module 3 presentation, there was some background on why we were writing this and how to search for research articles. The assumption now is that you've compiled some research and need to understand how to properly synthesize it all. Synthesis is the key term. As the researcher, you are expected to take key findings from multiple sources and weave the knowledge together. Not easy, though. This chapter is usually the hardest to write, so don't get discouraged. Ask for help. Look at examples. Remember, every research article you found has a literature review you can look over. But try not to cite those in your, your own literature review. Using someone else's literature review and then trying to pull little pieces from it is like taking a chopped salad and chopping it much more finely and then mixing it with other extra finely chopped salads. It makes mush. Use the findings from each of those articles instead of the literature review. It is also very hard to cite sources from someone else's literature review because you're relying on their citations. Just try to avoid doing that entirely. Remember, your thoughts and opinions are not included. This isn't about what you think or what you believe or what you know works. This is about the findings in the research articles you found. So just state the facts. Stay focused on the literature. You're not discussing your own research in this chapter either. We're staying focused on just what the literature shows. We're going to take these findings you found that from chapter two and in chapter three discuss your own research and cite those this research from chapter two to support what you're doing in chapter three so leave your own research out of this chapter take the research you found so far and organize it into subtopics and then sub subtopics different people have different ways of doing this some can do it electronically. Others need to print out a lot of paper and put it in piles. Find a method which works for you and get organized. Good writing still applies. Start paragraphs with the topic sentence. Use transitions between paragraphs and between sections so the reader makes the journey with you. And it's a smooth journey. It shouldn't be a bumpy ride. Cite, cite, cite. There should be at least one citation for every major idea, hopefully more, and that means there should be at least one citation in, any, in every paragraph because every paragraph has one major idea. And remember, every work that you cite in the paper must be in your references list. Avoid talking about the article or the paper. Focus on the author and the findings. For example, don't say, the first article said blah blah blah. The reader doesn't know what first article you read. Instead, focus on saying it this way. Lehman and Chamberlain, 2009, found blah, blah, blah. So you haven't said it was a book or an article or a paper. The format doesn't matter. What matters is to state the authors, the year of publication, and then get right into the findings. Paraphrase as much as possible. Quote the sentences which are so perfectly written you cannot do them justice by paraphrasing. That said, trust yourself. No more than 20 to 25% of the paper should be quotes. You can do this. Paraphrase the works. Start with a small subtopic you know well to get some practice and confidence. So find something that's a comfortable spot and just write that part first. You don't have to start at the beginning. You can start anywhere. So start with something Get the feel for how to write with the citations and how to weave the sources together. Then go back and fill in what came, what should have come before or the introduction and what comes after. I am planning another presentation on some of the formatting nuances. So for now, try to write without worrying about the formatting. Just write. Put in notes to yourself where, you, where you're going to need citations so you don't forget where those go, but later put in the actual citation or fix the formatting of the citation that you put in. But for right now, just try to get the flow of writing in the synthesized style. It doesn't come easily to most people, 
But remember, this is the hardest chapter to write and we will soon be done with it. Don't hesitate to ask for help from colleagues and myself.